Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. In this episode of Quick Takes, we're taking a quick look at the filter function. The filter function is available in Excel 365 and Excel 2021. Our Excel file contains a simple data set with a few columns of labels and a few columns of random data. We start by entering an equal sign, the keyword filter, and an open parentheses. The first parameter of the filter function is the array or group of cells we want to filter. For our example, we'll select all of our data to align with the header labels in row 4. It's worth noting that you don't have to select all of the data. You can select whichever columns you want to include in the output. For example, if all you wanted was the item and ID labels along with the value 1 data, you would select the range C5 through E24. Back to our example, after selecting the array, we enter a comma to go to the second parameter. This is the parameter where the magic happens. It's the second parameter that determines which values to include in our output. For the second parameter to work, we will enter an expression that evaluates to an array of trues and falses. The filter function then returns the rows in our first parameter that correspond to the trues and ignores the rows corresponding to the falses. For our first example, let's return the rows that have an item label of widget. To do this, we select all of the data under the RAND item header, which is the range C5 through C24. Next, we need to check which of these values are equal to widget. We'll enter an equal sign followed by the word widget inside quotes. Excel will look at each of the values in the range C5 through C24 and return true if it's equal to widget and false if it's not. The last parameter is optional. The value entered here is what is returned if there are no trues identified based on the criteria in the second parameter. This parameter can be anything that is meaningful to you. For our example, we'll just enter the string no value. Closing the parentheses and pressing enter, we get a dynamic array consisting of all of the data rows with a rand item value of widget. One thing to note, in order to make changes to our filter equation, we have to select the cell in the top left corner of the filtered data. This is the cell that contains the actual equation. If we want to show all values for gadget, we simply replace widget in the second parameter with the word gadget. Now we have a list of values for all of the gadgets in our dataset. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.